Hello and welcome to College Algebra. I am Professor Algio and you are enrolled in my Summer 1 College Algebra course I have right here in D2L. So I'm just going to kind of give you uh, an overview of the course and so you can know what to expect. So I'm going to go ahead and go in here. So this is uh, an old message right here. I'm going to put an updated one for our course a little bit later. But go ahead, you would want to click on content when you get in here. And really, there's not much to my D2L um, uh, page here, but it, it has everything you need, though. So the first thing we have is the syllabus, and then we have a calendar, which will be really important. And then there's instructions on how to register for the platform that we're going to be completing our exams and our homework. So everything's going to be done on a program called My Math Lab, and I'm going to show that to you also in this video. And then the last link is to get to my videos and notes. And so we'll, we'll take a look at all these. So we'll go ahead and start with the syllabus. If you click on this, it will open a window, but I already have it open right here. So let's go ahead and look at this. I'll enlarge this. Okay, so here we are, summer 2021. We're in section 1501. Here's my email address. You can contact me through D2L, but uh, this email I check a little bit more often. So this I have this on my phone, so I'm checking it on my phone periodically throughout the day. So this is the best way to get a hold of me, but not the only way. As far as office hours are concerned, since we're in the online format, all you have to do is make a request, and I'll be more than happy to meet up with you on WebEx, and I'll, I'll send out that link um, if you make that request, and we can meet up on WebEx. I will tell you the most popular th way, though, for students to interact with me is they typically will email me their questions or you know, send me a screenshot. And even better, I'm going to show you in my math lab how you can email me directly through my math lab, and it's very simple. And I can send you back a tutorial video giving a detailed explanation of whatever problem might be giving you trouble. So we'll look at that a little bit closer when we look at my math lab. Okay, so college algebra, you've either were placed here from TSI or you completed one of these other courses in order to be prepared for this course. So our mode of instruction is going to be online. I have my videos uh, for College Algebra, and they're going to be posted at this website right here, and we're going to go look at that in a minute. Uh, most assignments will be completed in the online format, right? Actually, all of them will be at this point. So as far as the book's concerned, you don't need a physical book. You just need access to My Math Lab. And this is kind of the details for that, but really, this won't really matter because I have uh, I have those directions posted in D2L, and I'll show that to you in a minute. If you really want the book, you can get it, but with the My Math Lab purchase, you'll have a digital copy of the book, so there's really no need unless you really feel you need that physical copy. So the way you'll register, here's going to be some instructions, but Really, the instructions in D2L will probably even be a little bit easier than this. But basically, this is going to be our course ID to register for the class. And so, as you can see, it's going to be $69.99. You, you, um, you can get a two-week free trial. So if you don't have the money right away, that's okay. You can actually get – so there's no reason not to get started, so don't – don't email me and say I'm waiting to get paid or whatever might be the issue. Just go ahead and get started. You don't have to wait. And I'll once again, I'll kind of walk you through that. Um, and actually, there's a part right here about this. Temporary access can be gained. Okay. What they do is when you get to the part where it's time to pay, there's a very small le link towards the bottom of the page that basically asks you if you want to do a 14-day trial. So make sure you can go ahead and do that. So don't wait if you're waiting on some funds to pay for pay for that. Okay, as far as calculators, you know, a four function is great. Scientific calculator, which you're using in your science courses, that'll be fine. If you have a graphing, that's okay too. Um, but I don't want you to go spend that money. These are going to be fine. 
And uh, here's some links to some free calculators that you can also use if you'd like. Okay, the purpose of this course, obviously, most graduation plans require it. And then here we go. So here's our major course outcomes. I'm not going to read these, but if you look over them and you have questions, feel free to you know, send me an email. Evaluation, that's probably the part that you're most concerned about. How am I going to be evaluated? Well, homework's going to take up 15%, so each video lesson will be accompanied with a homework set from my math lab. Once again, we'll look at all that stuff in just a minute. Then there will be four regular exams given throughout the semester. The exam questions will be taken directly from the homework, but there will be some that might pop up that you would have seen in the lecture video. So just be aware of that. Most of them do come from the practice, but uh, you might see a, a handful on each exam that you really need to make sure you've watched the lecture videos to make sure um, you're prepared. The exams will be taken in my math lab also. So it's going to be the same format as your homework. So you should be pretty comfortable with it by the time the exam rolls around. The homework sometimes can be a learning curve using a software platform, but I don't really get many complaints. It just takes a little bit of practice and then students are usually pretty good to go. You're going to be given a four-day window to take, take each exam. Those dates are posted on the calendar. We'll look at that in a moment. Once you start an exam, you must complete it within 90 minutes. So they are timed, so you can't, you know, take part of it one day and part of it another day. You have to do it all in one sitting. You are going to be allowed to use your notes. You actually are encouraged to use your notes. Okay, please use your notes. But refrain from using any other resources. You know, don't have any friends or family or any type of, you know, refrain from using internet searches or whatever else there might be out there to assist you. Make sure it's your work, okay? Now, since all the exams will be open notes, that means that I will not drop or replace your low score. A lot of times I will do that, but since your exam is open notes, um, I think that that's quite an advantage, and so since you're going to have that advantage, I'm not going to also drop your lowest score, okay? Now, if you're caught cheating, as I talked about earlier, you will automatically receive a zero on the assessment, and you could be dropped or given an F in the course. And you might be thinking, how is he going to know, right? Well, I'll just, I have my ways, and we'll just kind of leave it at that for right now. So, as far as makeups, no makeups, you're given a four day window. That's a lot of time, okay? So make sure you plan accordingly, okay? So make sure you're prepared. You're given a four day window. That doesn't mean wait till day four. I know sometimes things happen and you might have to wait till the fourth day, but try to, try to make sure it's not the last day it's available because things do happen and I don't want that to happen to you. Final exam, we do give a final exam at the end, a cumulative final exam. I will provide a review for the final exam, so you will have a review. As far as the other exams, you just need to review your homework. Reviewing your homework will be the, the best thing you can do to prepare for the regular exams. Final exam, yes, I will give a review to help you out there. And once again, that will be taken in my math lab, and this time you'll be given two hours to take the final exam. And once again, you will be allowed to use your notes. So here's the breakdown for grades. This should look pretty familiar. This is pretty standard, okay? You really want to earn a C or better. D is considered passing, but that does not typically transfer to four-year universities. A couple it does, but most of them they don't. So let's just make sure we're shooting for a C or better. Okay, reasons you may be dropped. Well, if you score zero on two or more exams mathematically, you're not, it's not going to happen. You won't be able to pass, so it might be best to drop. Um, my math lab, if you don't have full access after two weeks, okay, so you can get that temporary access, but once that's up, you need to make sure that you do have permanent access so that you don't fall behind. We can't play catch up because it's it's a summer session. It's only five and a half weeks long. 
And if you get behind by a week, that's like getting behind by three weeks. So we, we got to make sure we have full access within that first two weeks of the course, okay? And then obviously if you're caught cheating using apps, internet searches, and so on, once again, there, there's ways of uh, detecting that. Okay. Uh, course withdrawal if you decide maybe it's in your best interest to drop the course the last day to do that will be july 1st okay the rest of this um, you can look at on your own you can either this is a link or you can scan this with your phone and this will take you to uh, different parts of these the syllabus it's basically identical for all your courses whether you're taking my course or if you're taking english or biology or whatever you're taking every syllabus has um has this information and so the one thing i will highlight though is the ada, ADA americans with disability act if you do have any accommodations just make sure you get me all the proper paperwork as soon as possible so i can make sure that I'm meeting those accommodations. Then here, once again, this is a link, or you can use the QR right here, and this will take you to the math department website. We There should be virtual tutoring most days of the week, so if you want to go and check that out, um, it was very popular in the fall and the spring. You can go in there and figure out what times you can meet up with a, a tutor on WebEx. And then also you can, like I said, you know, you can request a time for me. I'd be more than happy to meet up with you on WebEx and go over some stuff. So don't hesitate to do that. And actually this, uh, this is the link to it. Let me see. I'm going to go ahead and open it up and see what it says. See if they posted it yet. Uh, list of times for tutoring, WebEx. Okay, so this looks kind of old. This looks like it's from the spring semester. They might just not have updated it yet. So let's see, they don't have the times on here yet. So yeah, this is going to be something they, oh, okay, no, they do have the times. But this is from the, the spring semester. So see, there I am. I actually tutored at night um, in the spring semester. So anywho, hopefully they will have that updated soon. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, we'll go ahead and look at the calendar now. So let's take a look at the calendar. And this is, once again, this is posted. If you go here, if you click on this, it'll open it up, but it kind of opens it up in a smaller window. So I'm going to come over here. There we go. So you can see June 7th is our first day. So you want to make sure you've watched this video by then. And then also the first part's just a factoring review. So you know, day one actually is kind of light. You might want to get started on Tuesday. And so this is just an ideal pacing calendar. This is based, the way I think of it is how fast would I go if we were teaching in person? And if we were in person, we'd be four days a week. And so it would take me till about Monday, June 14th to finish the first unit of notes. And so then the exam will be available from June 14th to June 17th. So you get a four day window. So there should be plenty of time to take it. I don't like to stretch the window out too far because then what happens is students are always playing catch up because they always wait till the very end. And then the problem is you, you've got two days of work to make up. So really, ideally, you really want to take it on June 15th if you can. I understand it's not always possible. We have other obligations. I get it. So I'm not going to hold it against you or anything, but the idea is to try to take it on June 15th. And if not, you know, take it on one of these other days. But then on the weekend, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you might have to play a little catch up to get back on track. OK, so, you know, you can kind of play around with the days, but what we can't play around with is the due dates. And then also the homework for unit one is going to be due on June 15th. So make sure you get all that homework done by the 15th. So really the best thing to do is just make sure you're setting aside a couple hours each day because if we were meeting in person, it would be about two hours a day and then you probably have at least two hours of homework, right? So 
this, this is a stout class. It, it takes a lot of time, so just be prepared. Then our second unit you can see here is going to be due, the homework's due on the 23rd. Once again, I'll give you a four-day window for the, home, uh, for the exam. Same thing for unit three and then uh, unit four. So the last day to drop is July 1st, so you might want to take your exam you know, by July 1st so you have a pretty good idea of where you stand in the class to kind of make a, an educated decision of whether you want to drop or not. And I hope you, you know, I don't want anybody to drop, but sometimes that's your best option. So it's there for you. Um, and if you have any questions, you know, feel free to email me and ask me, you know, what do I have to, you know, don't, don't email me too early on, but towards the end you can email me and ask, you know, what do I need to pass or whatever, what do I need to make on the last exam or the final exam and so on. That, that's fine. Okay, let's see. So that's the calendar. There is, after Unit 4, there is one new assignment. It's fairly short. It's not. It's not a long. Just know the video is probably 20, 25 minutes, and the lesson I think is only uh, six questions. So that's the calendar. All right. So let's see. What do we have next? Next is probably going to be my math lab, which will be a big part of the course. Okay. So this is registration instructions. So if you click on this, it'll actually give you a link to my math lab, and then you have to enter in the course ID right here. So if you click on my math lab and then if you already have an, <clears throat> excuse me, if you already have an account you can sign in. If not, go ahead and register an account. And like I said, as you're going through the process, when it gets to your payment options, if you look at the bottom of the page, um, there should be a link to activate a 14-day trial. And so feel free to do that. Okay, I'm going to go to my math lab because I've already got, I'm already logged in. Here's our class right here. Algeo Math 1314 Online Summer 2021. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And it should look pretty much like this when you go in there. So here's my home page. There are no grades yet, okay. Here's my assignments, and here's the due dates. So see all that homework's not due until the 15th. Don't wait till the 15th, but there's your assignments. And you can click on homework if you'd like, and it'll pop up, and there's all the unit homework. And it looks, you know, it looks like a lot. It's nine assignments. I mean, it is a lot, but I do try to make the assignments uh, in small chunks. And so some of these really, like the first, really, the first five assignments, I think, are all from one section of the book. But I, oh, yeah, I see you can see it right here, actually. On the back end, that's where you can find it in the book. So the first assignment comes from P.5, because that's a review. So that's a prerequisite. But I like to review it. Then 1.2 comes from section 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5. So you can see all these assignments are from 1.5. And then... Here on 1.6, you can find it actually at 1.6 in the book, and then 1.6, 1.7, and so on. So if you do want to look in the textbook, it's right here. Here's the e-textbook, and you can click on chapter content. And so chapter 1, and then 1.5, and so you can view the study plan or the text, or you can even watch the book's own videos they have. Now, my videos are going to be pretty pretty parallel to, oops, well, there's an error that occurred, but might be because I'm using Edge. But um, the, the videos, you can check them out, but my videos are going to be pretty much question for question, which you can expect in the homework. And we'll go ahead and look at that in just a second. Te quizzes and tests. So if you look here, I think they populate, yeah, see, they populate it with a bunch of stuff. You can ignore this. If you want to take them, you can, but they're... They're sample tests. Those aren't the real deal. The real deal will show up right here. I just I don't have it posted yet, okay, because the time window hasn't started yet. But whenever it does become available, which will be on the 14th, um, when you click here, you'll see it right here, and it will say Unit 1 exam or something to that effect. Okay, grade book. We don't have any grades yet, but this is where you can come and see how your grade is calculated. So see homework's 15%, test 
65 and final exam is 20 percent so all right let's see what else do we want to look at uh, what I'm gonna do I guess let's see if I can click on one of the homeworks so click on it okay so 22 questions okay it's a factoring review so let's say click on this question here all right let's see factor the polynomial okay let's see um i think it the answer is five and it's not but let's go ahead and see what happens oh one or more of your responses incorrect and try to give me a little hint but you know okay well, let's see let's try it again i think maybe the computer is wrong oh nope i missed it again now it says final check Okay, so you get three chances, and let's say I miss it again. Oh, um, I missed it again. Then they give me the right answer. You can do skill builder, but sometimes that can kind of take you down a rabbit hole. So I try to avoid it if you can. I'm going to show you other tools that can help you. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. Now, oh man, I got it wrong. Well, if I click, I can do this up to five times. Similar question. All of a sudden, it gives me a new question. I'm starting all over again. And so um, I can get, I can make 100 pretty much on every assignment. I, if you attempt it a couple of times and you're not getting it right, go ahead and email me and I can help you out before you get it wrong a fifth time. But here's the question help. Probably the most popular one students like is view an example. What they like to do is they kind of follow along with the example while they work the problem they're actually on right here. So we'll kind of walk you through step by step explaining what's taking place and how to solve it and you can kind of do it in tandem. Now, you do want to be careful because sometimes students they they use view an example but they're not really they're not really learning it, they're just kind of mimicking it. So make sure you're putting some thought into it, okay? So that's probably the most popular way. Not all of them, but a lot of them do have videos. So you could watch a video. Let's see, we'll pull this up right here. And let's see, play. There we go. And so most of these videos are two to three minutes. They're not super long. And so this he's going over a similar example. It's not quite identical, but it's the same concept right there. Okay, and then here's the way you can contact me. Just click on Ask My Instructor. And right here, it emails me directly. That's my direct email. It gives me the question you're working on. It actually gives me a screenshot of it. And you could even type me a message like, I'm lost, please help, or whatever the situation might be. And what I do is I'll make you a quick little video and I'll send it back to you to kind of help you out. And so that's the most popular way that I interact with students is they just contact me through my math lab and I'm able to get back with them um, within 24 hours, hopefully sooner. Okay, I try to, I pride myself on trying to get back with students ASAP. Um, okay, so that's basically your platform here. You can kind of click through it. And so this should hopefully be mostly a review. And I do have videos for this, and I'm about to show you where you can find my videos. Let's go and get some to exit out. Let's see. There we go. All right. And so the exams will look similar. You just obviously won't have that help, like help me solve it or view an example, that kind of stuff. But as far as the interface it will look the same okay let's go ahead and look at the notes here or actually i want to go to it from here all right so if you click here on video notes there we go it popped open a new page for me here home page we'll go ahead and click on unit one so here's unit one see there's that factoring review so you can watch the video on factoring review or you can look at you know 1.2 1.3 and so on and so on and then if you want the notes to go with the video if you click on that you can print this document out if you like it's not required but a lot of students like to have the notes in front of them while watching the video so you can print this out and follow 
along with the videos. So let's click on one of the videos. Here's one of the videos right here. So I, tr you know, this one is kind of long. This one's 36 minutes or so. I try to keep them within 20 to 25 minutes. That's my goal. Okay, that's my goal. Doesn't always happen, but that's my goal. Um, this one ran a little long. Let's look at a different unit. Let's look at unit two. So you can see in unit two, see 2.2, that was going to be a pretty long video. So I actually broke it up into two parts. So I try to do that whenever the videos are starting to get kind of long. I will break them up into multiple uh, parts. 2.8, I actually broke up into three parts. Okay. So, and then once again, there's the outline notes. Now, some of my later units, I'm still updating some of the videos. And so over the summer, I have all the videos here. It's fine. But I'm trying to consolidate it and make it a little bit nicer, like my first two units. It's, it's a little time consuming, but um, it's something I'm working on. But either way, you'll have the notes, you'll have the videos. It's just you can see um, the, uh, the notes. You'd have to open them for each individual section. And so, anyway, it's something I'll be working on over the summer. So hopefully by the time we get to Unit 3, that'll be all cleaned up. And we'll look like our first couple units right here. So I think that's about it for now. But, you know, don't, don't hesitate to contact me. It's always better to contact me right away instead of letting something uh, kind of fester because then... You know, we don't want to be a couple of days into class and you're unsure about something, have a register for my math lab or whatever might be the issue. Just make sure we get that knocked out as soon as possible. And I look forward to working with you all. And all you have to do is reach out and I'll be more than happy to meet up with you on WebEx or send you some videos, some extra videos. And um, all right.